I just went to my local fabric store and I got this black material that felt the same as the stock one. Now I got the 3M80, but I've also read you can use the 3M77. Take these off. There's a little screwdriver. And then tool, one of these trim removal tool thingies. And you can kind of wedge her out. Just start somewhere right here. There are clips, so be careful. Oh yeah. You'll break a few clips on these. I broke. I only broke one off. Not bad. Need that. Okay, and then to take these off. There's one, two, three Torx bits. This is a T20. Okay, now to get her out, just kind of grab it. Ooh, careful. There we go. Just wiggle it. There's a little lip on there. Kind of got to push pull and it'll come off. Now on there, before you pull it off, you got to make sure you keep that little this thing. When you rip the the existing cover over it, it kind of comes off. Nice. Now when you're spraying the adhesive on, you're going to want to make sure you spray it on evenly because when there's little globs, it'll bleed through the fabric. And then obviously make sure your fabric's taut so it's not wrinkling. You want to trim it so it's about, I don't know, half an inch or a quarter of an inch. Now to, to glue down the back of the fabric like I'm here, I'm just using To reinstall the A-pillar, first you got to get that little clip that was giving us a hard time and first and then you screw in the three screws. Take the C pillars off. And first, go for the light. Uh, there's, you can see there's little things. They want you to put the old screwdriver in. You can unplug it if you want, but don't have to. Just give it a right tug. Oh, just a bit of a tug. Wiggle her out. Just feed that thing through. Oh, that thing's cool. There's just two little trim pieces in there. So those go in the little holes up there. Now the 3M80 is pretty sticky, so on big panels like the C pillar, you're gonna maybe want to do them in parts so you don't mess up.
to unclip this. Kind of get your hands up behind this like this. And you just kind of pull up violently. I failed to mention this, but you actually have to take this piece out to get to the B pillar to take it out. Like that. And we'll get a tool. You could probably use a screwdriver or something else. Just take all these out. Okay. Keep all your things in, the, in a safe place. Now we'll move to the back. Now this is the rear. Same idea. That's it. Thankfully I didn't break these little tabs. Oops. I'll just take those out again with pliers. Okay, and then put these in the same spot. Okay, so now the next part you have to take this panel off. It helps if you move your seat up. I move the seat up as far as it go and I raise it up as high as it go. So to take this off. Get under it again. You gotta pull up and then out. Hard. There we go. Okay. Okay. Now, now that we unclip that, just kind of wiggle it out. Pull down a little bit. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be careful. There's little tabs right here. They hook in right there, so you don't wanna break that. So once you kinda click it out, you can see those. There's these two tabs at the bottom. Okay. Those, they just pop out, they're just plastic. And then you kinda wiggle it out, and then you're good. Under and pull them out. Jeez, I ruined that. Probably don't use a little screwdriver. Don't use pliers. Uh, there we go. You got these two little things. Put those so you're not gonna lose them. Okay, and then this should just pull out. Okay, so you pull this out and just comes down. There is like pubes everywhere. Okay, now can't get it out because of the seat belt, so you gotta undo the seat belt. Okay, the seat belt is right there. You just have to undo this bolt. Just put the little 16 on there. All right, now this, just take it down, and it comes right out. All right, so now we just have this. First, you're gonna wanna turn it around, and you're gonna wanna take this, this piece out that slides like that. Now, one side, this side has little tabs that hold it in, and then this side, it's flat. So you can just stretch it out, and then take it off. Like that. All right, and put that aside. Now you get all this fuzzy, all this fuzzy stuff that when you put fabric over it, It'll look all bumpy and weird. You can't really tell on this, but when it's glued down, it looks bumpy and weird. So you're gonna want to take take all of it off, all this top fabric part. Take it down to the bare plastic. For that, got a Dremel, this little flappy bit. down to the bare plastic get some sandpaper this is 220 mildly abrasive just sand her up
Hey, that's pretty good. Pretty smooth. Alright, lay out our fabric again. Okay. Is that the setter capsule? No, this is a B pillar. B pillar, look in the... the it's the driver's side that's taken apart. Now that it's all done, doesn't look bad. Grab this one. And put the side in that's on the tabs. Flex out. Right. Okay, first thing you do, run a seat belt through it. Okay, there's these two tabs up here, two. And then there's the top pieces that it fits into. Just make sure those go in there. Fits right up there. So unless you align this moving thing with the actual part that moves the the seat belt right there, unless you unless you align those, that's just gonna go like that. It's not gonna work. So if you look in there, you can see this piece right there. That's what pushes down and actually moves that. So you gotta move this all the way up. Sometimes you might actually have to move this down. Move your seatbelt seat belt down. So this can go over it and then, then this part, that little hook, this thing, has to go on top of that. Okay. So alright, that works. Now, right here are the two holes that you need to put your black pins through. These things. Align these with the holes. Then these two little black things that we ruined when we took them off of players. Just put those through those. Alright, now this is in. Okay, next piece to put in is this. This goes right there. Before you do that, there are these two right here and here. The these two pins that we had a that's what made you have to lift up and pull out that thing right there we're gonna pull these out as far as you can you're gonna ruin them but you should pull them out as far as you can okay before you put in those two pins you have to put the top in because there's a because there's this goes on the outside of the B pillar and this goes under it. Now, if you don't get it, all those on correctly, it's not gonna fit right. Push this up. And then, and you're gonna look for the little things, those right there. And you're gonna feel around and push them down and push them down down and then up into these down and up into that right there gotta pound it in a little bit okay now we put in back floor thing so you need your your two thingies slide it in okay and now we put on this front piece like that Which one? 
move up there. Now, bolt up the seat belt. 